Hello and welcome back to Motorsport and Performance. I'm Teddy and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use your RTD Plus. For the purpose of this video, I'm only showing you how to read and write from the car, the bits in between where you send the file off to the tuner, a bit of data logging and a bit of problem solving. This is a lot more capable than that and it's got a lot more features than what I'm going to be showing you, but we're just focusing on that today. So if you are watching this video, you have more than likely received one of these. This is the RTD, which is the device that reads and writes to your car. This device is controlled from your phone. Everything you do will be done from there on an app called TDN, which stands for Tune Delivery Network. So let's get it opened up and get stuck in. So the first thing I'm going to do is download the TDN app. Now that I've done that, I need to make sure that the software for the actual phone is up to date. So do that through your phone settings and making sure it's on the latest firmware. So then once that is all done, click the account button in the center of the screen, create your HP Tuners account. Once that's all set up and you're logged in on the app, you can then go back to the home page and this is where we're going to pair the RTD. So this bit is really simple. Everything you see will be on the screen as well. Plug your RTD into the car. So to pair the RTD, you need to make sure you have a Wi-Fi or internet connection that's strong and a Bluetooth setting that's turned on. So go to tools at the bottom right, RTD first time setup, which is the second one down and turn the ignition on. Hold the button on the RTD until the light starts flashing. Then you should get a prompt on your phone to click pair. Now what you're going to want to do is step free on your screen, remove the RTD and pop it back in. Once that green light is showing, you can click next. You should get a spinning logo on your screen that shows it activating and synchronizing with the server. So now you should have a message on your screen that says setup complete. Updates will now be applied if needed. Click done there and you should get a connecting to the RTD screen. So the firmware update has all completed and gone through fine, just in case it doesn't, or like I say, you need to do it again later down the line to make sure it's working correctly. Go onto your tools page, head over to update RTD firmware. If you click that, it will connect to it and it will give it the newest firmware. So now one little trick I am going to do is go onto Bluetooth speed under tools and I'm gonna put it on full, not the extreme setting. The extreme setting we have seen caused some little problems. So I'll run through all of those again at the end and make sure you know what to do if they do occur. So before we actually read the car, what I'm gonna do is go over to account and here you will see join tuner. So for us to send the file that we read off and for the tuner to send one back, we need to get on their system. So when you've spoken to your tuner, they will give you your invite code pop it in here the request is pending once the tuner accepts that you can now read the car and the file will be shipped straight to them now I am ready to read my car so I click on flash and then click read vehicle now that the read has begun it's done its prerequisite checks and all its initial downloads it's going to go into the actual read and it will give you a time remaining this can take anywhere around 20 minutes so it's a good idea to make sure that your car battery is good health or just put it on charge so the read is almost complete i am now at 95 percent just a disclaimer, don't worry if anything's going a bit funny with the car, like the lights are going off or the light, dash lights are coming on. Don't worry, as long as that RTD is flashing away, it is reading. Now it gives you the instruction to turn the ignition off. Click ready. It'll then give you the instruction to wait 10 seconds and turn it back on. Click done. Now it gives you the prompt that it's saving the tune file. This may take a minute. This is a lot quicker now. The read is the longest part. So, now I can let the tuner know but my file is on the system. If you click here, you get the restore, that's your file. So here's the car, 2020 Ford. I know that's the stock file because I've just read it from the car. So now that the read is complete and I have sent it off to the tuner, if it doesn't get received there, what you can do is press sync files. They will tell you if they've not received it and that will re-upload it there. And you should see a green tick next to the box. Now I know that D has done the tune for this car. I can now click on sync files again. It works both ways, it uploads them and it downloads them. So I can now see two files. Obviously the one is the standard file that I get to keep. So if I want to flash it back to stock, I can flash that back on. If I want to tune file, I can literally just put that onto the car. 
the way to tell them apart obviously click on it it says map stage 299 rom so the way i am going to do this is literally the same again all the prompts are on the screen so pop the ignition on rtd in the vehicle obviously ensuring again you've got the good battery life or charger on there and you can click right vehicle once you've read the file it's sent off to the tuner it's synced on the tdn network what you'll usually find at this point is this is where you'll have to normally pay for the tune and pay for the credit so you do need credits to license your vehicle mustangs this mustang in particular is four credits so that will be included in the payment the tuner will give you credits now it's not the same way to sync a file as it is to sync credits but it is still a simple so go over to tools and then you want to press resync rtd credits here follow the on-screen instructions and there we go setup complete updates will be applied if needed hopefully that has gone as easy as it did for us if it hasn't and you've got an error that looks like one of these and you've followed the process of making sure your phone is up to date making sure your rtd is up to date and ensuring your bluetooth speed is on the full setting then at this point you need to head over to hptuners.com or .eu depending on where you are and raise a support ticket and those guys will be able to help you further however if it did go really nice and smoothly as i hope it did then you're ready to drive your car so you want to get out on the road but you feel something's not quite right or there's something that isn't right you've got an engine management light on something like that then that's when you need to contact your tuner so to do that what you do is get in touch with a tuner and i'm going to show you how to do a data log on your car which is most likely what they are going to ask you to do so from your home page you want to select data log this will give you the option to start and stop the recording once you start it you will actually see the gauges and that is where you are recording your data log only log what we've asked you to log and no more once that is completed you can stop the log this should sync it automatically to the tuner so they can see it and that is all on the rtd plus it's nice and simple so let us know what you think to these in the comments thank you guys for watching we'll see you next time